Ah, summertime. And if you're lucky to be near the ocean or sitting on a dock on a lake somewhere, you might be wearing polarized sunglasses to cut down on the glare from the water's surface. If you have a couple of friends who also have polarized sunglasses, did you know you can use them to see some really weird quantum mechanical effects with your very own eyes? Now, you do need real polarized sunglasses. Regular sunglasses just won't work. And be aware that many sunglasses are not polarized, even some that claim they actually are. So, how can we make sure those expensive sunglasses are really polarized? Well, one way is to look at the water, preferably later in the day, with the sun reflecting off ripples on the water's surface and going right into your eyes. Put on your sunglasses and tilt your head sideways. When you tilt your head, the glistening sunlight from the reflections of the ripples should get much brighter than when your head is in its normal orientation. And if you see that, well, the sunglasses are indeed polarized. And that's because the sunlight reflected from the surface of the water is strongly horizontally polarized. The electric fields and the light waves are parallel to the surface of the water. There are also magnetic fields at right angles to the electric fields, but we'll just ignore them for the purpose of this video because they really don't come into play for our discussions. The filter in the polarized sunglasses use vertically oriented molecules to only let vertically polarized light through, blocking most of the light reflected from the water's surface. A better test is if you have two pairs of sunglasses, put one on and hold the second so you can see through both of them. Now rotate the glasses in your hands and you should gradually see the light going through both dim and go black. No light gets through when they're at 90 degrees. And that's because the glasses you're holding vertically is only letting horizontally polarized light through. And the one you're wearing is blocking any light that is horizontally polarized. At all the in-between angles, some fraction of the electric field does get through. The portion of the diagonal field that is vertical. We can say that the diagonally polarized wave is made up of both vertically and horizontally polarized components. Now the fun starts. What happens if you put a third pair of glasses in between the original two? Well, hold the third pair of sunglasses, the middle ones vertically, and you'll let the already horizontally polarized light from the first set of glasses through, which the glasses you're wearing will block and everything will be dark. Now hold the middle pair of sunglasses in their normal orientation and they'll block all the horizontally polarized light from the first set of sunglasses and the glasses you're wearing will not actually get any light and everything will still be black. But what happens if you hold them at 45 degrees? A. No change. Nothing gets through. Just a bit more of the horizontally polarized light gets blocked before it gets to the sunglasses you're wearing. Or B, something else really weird happens. Well, if you picked something else really weird happens, you were right. And it would be a good guess even if for no other reason that I promised you some sort of quantum mechanical effect. So let's try it. As you can see with the sunglasses at an angle, some light passes through. And only when they are at an angle. And there's your beach demo of quantum mechanics. We can't explain this with classical electromagnetics, which does, however, perfectly explain what happens with only two polarized filters. But this experiment seems to show that somehow the middle filter must be changing the horizontally polarized light coming from the first filter, the first sunglasses, to at least have some vertically polarized light to get through the sunglasses that you're wearing. So what's going on? Well, for this we have to look at light as particles, quanta, called photons rather than waves. And without getting deep into the weeds of quantum mechanics, we could say that normal white light consists of photons coming from the sun that are polarized in random directions. Photons getting through the first set of sunglasses are horizontally polarized. Without the middle sunglasses, every one of those horizontally polarized photons gets blocked by the vertical filter on the glasses we're wearing. 
it gets blocked because they are of the wrong polarization. But for the 45 degree angled glasses in the middle, about half the photons get through. But exactly which individual photon gets through is truly random. You may have heard that in the quantum world of tiny things, it's impossible to measure things precisely. The properties of these particles themselves are probabilistic. Only once measured do they exhibit something precise like a particular polarization or the ability to get through a polarizing filter of a particular direction. They could end up having a range of any number of values in our case being more or less horizontally polarized after passing through the first set of sunglasses, but having zero chance of being vertically polarized. That, combined with the orientation of the middle set of sunglasses, determines what gets through. And at 45 degrees, that's about 50% of the photons, corresponding to 50% of the power for an EM wave. And if we were just looking at the first and second sunglasses, the EM theory would agree completely with this quantum mechanical photon view. But unlike for classical wave theory, where those waves would expect it to still be horizontally polarized, the lucky few photons that did get through the middle polarizing filter are now more or less polarized around the angle of that filter. And when they hit the final pair of sunglasses you're wearing, well, there's only another 45 degree angle difference. And half of those photons do get through. And so like magic, light passes through all three sets of sunglasses, even though it can't pass through just two of them. In a sense, we're seeing the effects of a Schrodinger's cat type behavior for photons. Just like the cat being simultaneously dead and alive until we look in its box, our photons can appear to be simultaneously having multiple polarizations until we force a choice like whether it'll get through the next pair of sunglasses or not. It can be even more bizarre than that. In some interpretations, the thought is that for every choice, such as the cat being dead or alive, or the photon getting through the sunglasses or not, the universe divides into two, one with a future with the cat or the photon being alive, and, and another, another with, with it, it being, being dead. dead. As far as I know, there's no experiment to prove or disprove that, but just think with the trillions of photons that made decisions to get through or be blocked by our sunglasses, we may have created a gigantic number of parallel universes, each with a slightly different future. All of that from just three pairs of sunglasses. I hope you enjoyed this video and are spending more time on the beach than watching videos this summer. See you next time.